Welcome back to The Brief at 30 year with me, Sandro Satyajit. Now on to your local news. National People's Power Parliamentarian Harini Amrasuri says that the election will definitely take place. The court has given a clear decision. The election will take place. This government is afraid of losing. That is why they are spreading an air of uncertainty. The people have already rejected this. The people are aware of these traps and they will not be caught in these webs of lies spun by the government. The people are ready. The election will take place on the 9th of March. On to news overseas now. China's top diplomat will visit Russia this month in the first to visit in the first visit rather to the country from a Chinese official in that role since Moscow's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. Wang Yi, who was named Chinese leader Xi Jinping's top foreign policy advisor last month, will visit Russia during an eight-day international tour starting on Tuesday that will also include visits to France, Italy, Hungary and a speaking engagement at the Munich Security Conference this coming weekend, which U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken may also attend. The foreign itinerary is Wang's first after leaving his post as foreign minister and taking up his new role, and it could provide a test of the diplomat's ability in balancing Beijing's close ties with Moscow, while also attempting to boost China's image and relations in Europe, and by extension, the United States. Wang's attendance at the Munich Security Conference, which Blinken is expected to attend, could provide a chance for the two to meet in person for the first time since US-China tensions again flared after a suspected Chinese surveillance balloon entered American airspace late last month. Now on to sports news, Commonwealth Games 800 meter silver medalist Peter Bowl has had his provisional suspension for doping lifted after his B sample produced a different result from his A sample. The 28-year-old Australian reversed an adverse finding for erythropoietin at an out-of-competition test in October. He requested his B sample be tested which returned an atypical finding. But Sports Integrity Australia says this is not the same as a negative result and will continue its investigation. Bull, who finished fourth at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 and won Commonwealth Silver in Birmingham last year, has always protested his innocence. EPO increases red blood cell mass, allowing the body to transport more oxygen to muscles and increase stamina and performance. Under the World Anti-Doping Agency Code, Ball faces a ban of up to four years if found guilty. That's all the news for now. With the brief at 30 throughout the evening. More news in brief.